He was just under nine feet tall, eight feet 11 and one tenth inches. Nearly two feet taller than NBA All-Star center Shaquille O'Neal is today. And the world could barely accommodate him. I hate a duck to go through all doorways. No room on a bus, no room on a train, no seats, airplane. Everything was made for a person six foot or under, and even nine foot. Robert Wadlow, tallest man ever. Born 1918, Alton, Illinois. As his average size parents watched in awe, it didn't take long for Robert Wadlow to grow up and up and up. By age five, he was already five feet four. By 10, he was six foot five and towered over his teachers. But I went in there to teach and I still don't remember a single thing I taught because when Robert walked in there and sat down with those great big old feet sticking out, I kept looking at him and he got out his paper and he put it on the desk. It was a regular notebook sized paper. He put that great big hand on top to start writing and I couldn't see the paper anymore. Robert longed to be normal and except for his size, he was. He even joined the Boy Scouts. Just a regular boy, like any other boy, only larger. His mischievousness was just like any other. He'd take your hat and put it up in chandeliers where you couldn't get a hold of it. He probably wished that he was as tall as he was and wanted a normal life, which he couldn't possibly live. When he was 12, doctors found he had an overactive pituitary gland, the source of human growth hormones. Corrective surgery was dangerous and not sure to work, so his parents let nature take its course. I'm Robert Wadlow, 12 years old, and weigh 240 pounds, and I'm, wet. I'm about seven feet tall. Uh, these boys grouped around me, uh, about the same age as I am, they go to the same grade. Two years later, when he entered high school, he was 7'5", and used to being teased. And he always took it so well, but in spite of everything, his ears would turn red, and he would chuckle, and he would look terribly embarrassed. But I never did see him appear angry. His size made him too awkward to play basketball. He had circulation problems in his huge feet and was sometimes ungainly when he walked. Shoes were a problem, too. He had to have them custom made. The last pair made for him were size 40. I wear the largest pair of shoes ever made. And when I kick somebody, they stay kicked. In Alton, Wadlow was well-liked and treated with respect, but elsewhere, he was the object of unwanted attention. He couldn't go anywhere without being stared at and drawing a crowd. Some people would bother him, you know, because of his height. Well, they might come up behind him and pinch his leg or something else, you know, or even maybe even try to kick him, you know, on the shins, make sure he wasn't on stilts. His sanctuary was home with his family. His younger brother, Harold, the only remaining member of the family, always admired him. He was the best big brother anybody could ever have. He was a good person. Quiet person, loving, caring. Wadlow never stopped growing. He was 8'4 when he graduated from high school. He then enrolled in college and joined community groups. The Masons had to have a special chair built for him. You get a true sense of Wadlow's immense scale when an average sized person sits in it. When he was 20 and eight and a half feet tall, Robert Wadlow began doing promotional tours for the company that made his shoes. He may not have enjoyed fame, but he liked traveling and the perks of being on the road. We, we did go out on double dates. We'd go to a theater, a nightclub, usually for dinner and then dancing. We laughed, we giggled, we, we just had a wonderful time. Robert never took advantage of being uh, a popular person and one that was in the limelight. He never uses popularity to take advantage of anyone. He died in 1940 from a foot infection caused by a metal brace he wore to strengthen his ankles. 5,000 people attended his funeral. It took 12 men to carry his casket. Though Robert Wadlow was only 22 when he died, this gentle giant led a giant life. He led a, what well, I would have gone, an accelerated type of life. He traveled more, saw more, met more people from political life, sports figures, movie stars, 
He did more in his short life than most people do in two or three lifetimes.